is suing Ramona Molden in the amount of $4,800 for what Ms. Williams says was harassment. All right, Ms. Williams. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Ms. Molden for harassment? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and you're asking for $4,800. What's the $4,800 for? The time that it took me, the last time that I, I would have been at work, Right. If it wasn't for the situation that happened between the two of us. Right. You two work together? Yes, ma'am. How long for, did y'all work together, Ms. Molden? We worked together for two years, and then we've been placed in the same cubicle, sharing a cubicle space, rather, for, oh, two months, about. About two months. Yes. And what is it that you two do? I'm a telemarketer, and so is she. You we people that call the house at 5 o'clock in the morning and ask to take <laughs> surveys and that kind of foolishness? Your Honor, it's to sell newspaper subscriptions. Who and subscribes to newspapers anymore? Well, that's what we did, Your Honor. Okay, well, that may be why you don't have a job. But anyway, so we are in this telemarketing business. We share a cubicle. Yes, And then what happens? The cubicle is not very big, Your Honor. Most cubicles are small. I have a picture. We're back to back. You can barely even move the chairs. Okay. Back, were there's we no friends space. friends on the job or no? No, ma'am. We, we not weren't friends? No, ma'am. Before we shared the cubicle, we were at least cordial. Okay, so what happened in the cubicle? Let me see the cubicle. You have pictures? Yes, I do. Let me see this cubicle. It's like seven feet by five feet. Very, very long and very short. Okay. Why did That's she... really not a bad cubicle. But, Your Honor, she commandeered the space. Okay, well, how did she come into this space? Your Honor, we're usually going to eat our lunch in the break room. Most people don't want to still be in their cubicle when they get a paid break, Your Honor. Okay. But she would bring burned broccoli, Your Honor. It definitely does not smell good. And she would sit in the middle and she would eat it. She wouldn't even face her computer, Your Honor. Was there an employee manual that said you could not eat in your cubicle? No, there isn't. Okay, under the uh, rules of the corporation, could you eat where you want to eat? Well, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so that's why you sued her? Is no. Why you sued? Tell me now, because I'm thinking about lunch. Even after you broccoli, after, you make me think about food. Yes. After, Tell me what happened. After two years of, I had good sales. I met my quotas every month. Right. Once we started sharing the same right. cubicle, she started doing things that really, to me, seemed very What did she do? Racist. To be honest, Your Honor. What did she do? She brought fried chicken. After the broccoli incident, she started bringing fried chicken day after day from, from a certain restaurant, Your Honor. Like and she, Kentucky Fried or one Yeah, two. Kentucky Fried Chicken to be exact. What else? They have Popeyes? She, she, brought, it, well, she brought Kentucky Fried Chicken. What? And she would not bring Churches. just one for herself, but she would bring two and tell me. She would make the comment like, you know you like it because of your, you know, being black and everything. She said, wait a second. She, she, wait, wait, she wait, didn't wait, say stop, being stop, black. Stop. How many times did she bring chicken for you? Four times, Your Honor. The first time she brought chickens for you, did you eat it? No, I did not. I actually have a cholesterol problem, Your Honor. The second time she brought chicken, you didn't eat it? No, Your and Honor. I cannot it. eat fried chicken. So food. why would you continue to bring chicken for her if she was Initially, eat it? the reason I brought the chicken was just to make, try to make a peace offering. And that was why I did it a few times. Um... With and, comment, wait, Your Honor. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait. Oh, did you bring watermelon for dessert? <laughs> yes, she did, Your Honor. Yes, she did. She definitely did, and she put it right there in the middle. You know you like it. Come on. It's I okay. never said you, you didn't know you like okay, it. But let me ask this question. Uh, why did you bring fried chicken? Oh, I like fried chicken. Right. It's one of my favorites. Did you foods. tell her you know you like it? No. I mean, oh, I was trying wow. to give her a peace offering, and it was a two for one. Right. And so. Well, well, the first time you brought chicken, and she says, I don't eat chicken, why would you bring chicken again? I didn't bring. Well, I had some chicken in there, but it was mostly for me. Uh huh. And, and um, you actually realized, bought two packs of chicken. Is they that had yes, two one. Two piece or three piece? Two piece. With a biscuit or not? With a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a biscuit, and there was some mashed potatoes okay, in there. Okay, but the second. The first time she told you, I don't want chicken, don't bring chicken, why would you bring chicken again? It was a two for one, and it kept with that, so I wanted to bring the chicken home for myself, and so I just put it there and said, you know, if you'd like anything, any food in here, you can have it. Okay, but she told me she don't eat chicken. What was the other food there that okay, she had? Okay, what about have? the third time you bought the chicken? I was trying to, trying, I was just trying to be she polite. She told me she didn't eat chicken. Up. And she was very rude about it. Initially, I didn't realize that she I didn't like the chicken. rude. Coming up on Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. You systematically brought in boxes of fried chicken. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen.
We're back with the case of Teresa Williams, who is suing Ramona Molden for harassment. So, Ms. Williams, um, you quit your job as no, a No, Your Honor. This racist, she had these. She had these on the desk when I came in in the morning. What are those? Cotton branches. I saw them in a day in our no, art, art, art some shop, shop. art and craft store. I thought they were pretty. I did not mean anything by them. Sure. Where are you from? I'm from Southern California. Oh, okay. What, what was really going on? I, she Do was. Do I look like I was born yesterday? Do I look that way? I know I look good for my age. <laughs> but do I look like I was born yesterday? Well, I just thought All right, you're consistently bringing fried chicken and water. I brought fried Two chicken. things I like. Okay? But then you're bringing cotton. I mean, what were you trying to do? I was just trying to spruce up my side of the um, cubicle just a little bit. I didn't really have that much new decorations on there. And her side has decorations on it as well. You know what? Don't BS me. I don't like people to play with me. I meant nothing okay. by the cotton branches. You might have been I just playing thought they were with this little 20-something-year-old, but you're not playing with me. Okay? I didn't mean you were systematically doing something I was not. that looks... That, don't argue with me. Because guess what? When you argue with me, you will never win. Okay? Never win. Why didn't you go and talk to your supervisor about it? It was too late. Your Honor, she <laughs> had... Do not say another word. It was too late. Why? Security was escorting me off because I threw the cotton at her. So you, you got escorted out of the, the, the job because you threw the cotton at her? Spot. You're under fire you should have been bringing spot. a lawsuit against your employer. The $4,800 is the eight amount eight of income you lost until you found a new job. Yes, is that Honor. correct? And you had worked there for two years. Yes, Your Honor. With nothing wrong. Nothing happened wrong. Never had anything. And how long had you worked there? I've worked there for two and a half years. Right. And it isn't true that she's had nothing wrong. I don't know how her quote is or anything like that. But she demanded that she has a Do not argue with me because guess what? You go to jail because I have the power. I'm not just wearing a robe. I am a judge. I okay. ran for my seat. I got sworn into office. Okay? So don't play with me, little girl. Do not play with me. Yes, ma'am. Well, those ones say... Don't say another word. I hope they don't have fried chicken for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. You systematically brought in boxes of fried chicken. Racist stereotype. Shut up. I didn't eat Shut anything. Up. You systematically brought in watermelon. Stereotype. I like watermelon. You system and then you the coup de gras was that you bought in a cotton spray. Okay, not roses, carnations, gardenias, peonies. Exactly. But a cotton spray. I'm ready to rule. If I had the jurisdiction to award more than what you were asking for, I would award you a whole lot more than four thousand eight hundred dollars. And I hope after this you will be bringing some sort of federal action against your employer for wrongful termination of employment. You, you, you're going to come up against the wrong somebody someday, girl. The wrong somebody in the wrong place. And you may not be standing here to talk about it. Jeffrey, for the plaintiff, <coughs> in the amount of $4,800. Good luck. Thank you, brother. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $4,800. I'm glad you got what you deserve. The judge saw it my way. I would have still been working there if it wasn't for you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. Sure you are. And coming up. Why 